Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, first and foremost, make sure you guys do check out Pancho's Toxic guys. We have put out the spooky Ramo Buchon giveaway. That's going to be delivered by yours truly, Panchito. I think for the next flower giveaway, I'll try to pick somewhere different because I do be seeing a lot of you Panchitas are Miss Worldwide and you guys are located someplace else. But make sure to take a second, smack that like button. It helps us boost to new cheese muscles and cheese mozas and it shows me you guys appreciate these videos. Let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week and it goes to... Okay, but I need to know, is that your real Instagram that you DM me on? Yes, it is. They removed my last one, but if you're interested, Miss Eileen, just go ahead and kindly respond if you can. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see the controversy that Beauty Pajarita is going through, also known as Beauty Bird, also known as Yasmin, the one that was beefing with Miss Yvette EXO EXO? Now, if you guys missed it, Beauty Bird was getting called out actually by her own supporters. Now, when I first got the initial girl, the first one, I was kind of saying, well, maybe she just had a bad experience with her. Uh, maybe she was actually treating other people nicely. But then another young lady came out and she said the same thing. My Pretty disappointed meeting Yasmin Beauty Bird, not personable at all, interact action felt more like what are you gonna buy and get your cheeks out of here i don't know why i still boss really full and still ask for a picture <laughs> maybe i just caught her on the wrong day but still girly i recently started following her because of her fits and cute family and now i'm like goodbye i guess i wasn't the only one that felt that she was not being herself at least I think she wasn't being herself, or maybe she was showing her true colors. I don't know. Um, I also felt that she was not there. Like, she was there, but she was not there. I don't know if it's because it was just her and her husband doing all the transactions plus taking pictures, but it, she, was, she was not the same Yasmin that I see on social media. Um, there was a girl, a couple people in front of me in line, that was interviewing her. And in the interview, she did seem herself. But as soon as the interview was done, she, like, turned again, being serious. Um, yes, it was hot that day. It was really hot. Um, and I know she was celebrating her mom and her aunt the night before. I even tried to make conversation with her about that. I was like, oh my god, how are you out here? Um... I asked her about her daughters, how they were doing. The whole little system thing that they were using to make to take payments was really slow. She was she wasn't getting signal, and I'm sure she was trying to get people going as fast as possible because it was hot. But I hate to compare, but I stood in line for two and a half hours to to meet Karen, and this is the second time I meet her, and she hugs you like she's so happy to see you. Like she's known you forever. She she makes you feel welcomed. Thanks you for waiting out in the sun. Um, and I, I just, I didn't get that from Yasmin. I don't know. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and just assume that she wasn't feeling her best. It was just not there. Um, I kind of did. I read the comments in, in Pancho's video and I saw one of the girls said that she regretted purchasing something. I also did because we're out here supporting you. And you're not giving what we see. But I don't know. I, I, I understand what this girl meant by her disappointment. But hopefully next time she's better. So make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think? Maybe she was just having a bad day. Comment down below. Now here's my thing. I saw a lot of people saying that she was out partying the day before, that she was, you know, maybe she was hungover. I'm not too quite sure what the case was, but to those young ladies, if y'all didn't like the interaction, why the fuck you... Why the fuck... Hold on, my hair's messy. We can't do that. Sorry about that. Why the fuck in Dublin are you still taking a picture and then still buying their... <laughs> Somebody gives me the boo-boo, the fool face. They hit me with the cinema, cinema. 
I'm not gonna say una fotito, una fotito. Why do I want a picture when they just treated me like <clears throat> I would have hit them with the I'm good, I'm good. I didn't even want nothing, but I really do appreciate it. And I'm out skis. But other people are saying that they interacted with her, that they didn't have the same reaction, that everything was good, was good. I'm not too quite sure. People do have bad days, but it was kind of half and half. Some people were saying that she was, you know, being rude. Other people were saying that she was being nice. So I'm not too quite sure. What do you guys think of the whole situation? Do you guys think she was being nice or not? Now, did you guys see what Jay Cortez? and Mia Khalifa now I guess they're beefing hold on let me turn this back I look like an editor now I guess they're beefing because Mia Khalifa called out Jay Cortez because Jay Cortez I think uploaded some sort of kid if you guys don't know what's going on with Israel Hamas all that situation basically he posted some sort of kids in cages because he saw some kids in cages and he wanted to spread awareness and then Mia Khalifa said fool you didn't even do your research you're just posting it to which this happened Mike so I'm gonna go ahead and Rosetta Stone it for you please stop sending me my ex's story about Palestinian children in cages claiming they're Israeli I knew it was a lost cause that lacked critical thinking when I had to beg and fight him to share a post in solidarity with women after the repeal of Wool versus Wade would not distinguish a human rights violation from a traffic violation. So then Jay Cortez Messiges on the Messiges todavía and he said it's true that I'm not informed about this because it's new to me and many of us and many things because I really have to work for a living. I don't have free time every day because all I do is oh eh ooh, little magazine covers trying to rebrand and just being on the internet like the rest of the time spouting opinions and fighting with random people. And then he said that he wasn't educated but he posted this just thinking about kids because he has kids of his own and if i didn't post when you begged me because i'm not gonna post anything that i don't fully understand just because my partner told me to i'm not a puppet stop referring to me and mentioning me and throwing shade i'm tired of your <laughs> just leave me out of it and then he said that you're gonna continue mentioning me, talking about me on Twitter. I'm doing me, living my life. You live your life. And then he said, thinking that you're smarter than everyone else when we really know who you are. Zabang. So basically, Jay Cortez was saying that he felt some sympathy towards the kids because he has his own kids of his own, even though he didn't do his research. First and foremost, you shouldn't be posting something if you don't do your research, just, you know, just to post. But he went after Mia Khalifa and said, you have all day since you're on OF. And I said, sheesh, but you were dating her though. You had no issues when you were dating her though, big dog. But what do you guys think of the whole situation? Make sure to comment down. Down below and for the world news did you guys see that guy that jumped in the world trade center you know that whole you know square thing he said i need a little bit of a shower i'm out skis and this happened Mang Bang. I wonder how they got him out. Yeah, because I was looking at it and I saw how he fell in and I said, Sheesh, how'd they get him out? Yeah, feel me a little bit of a rope and said, Suck it today. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Remember, take a second, smack that like, go to Pancho Stoxy guys to get that spooky Ramo Buchon. Follow my social medias and I really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> Ale, Brittany, czy tam, ale, Brittany!